What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. This time we're taking a look at the Merseyside Derby Day player selection. We've got four players from Liverpool, four players from Everton, and let's get right into it. So short and sweet, right, we are going to start with Mo Salah. Salah goes to a 97 overall. Uh, he starts out at an 88 with 17 levels to go. Lads, I'm not, uh, not going to lie to you, right? I have never been able to use Salah. I don't know if it's just my play style. I don't know what it is about him. But he kind of adds to the list of uh, him and Son since eFootball 2022. Son from Tottenham and Liverpool, Salah. And then there's probably one or two more players that I just can't... I, I don't know what it is, but I just can't ever have good games with them. And I always outperform them with other players that are similar to them. Maybe don't have the best stats. But like if you look at Salah's stats here on paper, absolutely in, insane stats. 84 offensive awareness, 86 speed, 82 acceleration, and 84 balance with 82 finishing straight off the rip. So straight away, we know that we've only got 17 levels to go. He's got really nice player skills as well. He's got a wavering form. He is on C rating this week. Obviously, that is uh, something to take into consideration if you do get him. But I think the big, the best thing with Salah, right, is if you are playing with Salah, I genuinely think you need to play him as kind of like a messy type player. You need to be curling shots. You need to have long range shots with him because I think that's where his strength lies. He's not kind of like the trickiest winger in the game, such as Dembele or somebody like Matoma even, um, that's able to rip people with just pure dribbling skills. I think that Salah is all about kind of very direct, you know, pass, touch and go and then finish him when he gets a chance. I think any of the wingers that have high finishing are just kind of coded differently. So if we are going train in Salah, this is how I would do it. I would pump in uh, eight into dribbling and dexterity, and then four into shooting and lower body strength, right? That gets you 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 92 balance, 92 offensive awareness, and 90 ball control. His passing is a little low, obviously, but depending on how you're going to be playing him, I would genuinely be using him as a messy type player without the passing. Basically, just getting the ball in the wing, cutting in, you know, touch and go, or else if you get a bit of space, popping those curl shots in. I think he's an insane card. Uh, I just haven't been able to use him that well. I think it could be the Roman flank type play style. It's just a very difficult play style sometimes to, to anticipate when you are looking at the AI movements. We also have Andy Robinson up as well. And he is one of the best left backs in the game. I've come up against him quite a lot. He's just super, super, super offensive. I do think that you need to pump up his defensive capabilities quite a bit for that. Because obviously you're going to have 76 offensive awareness. As well as 80 dribbling and lofted pass is always going to be good as well. But then you've got the speed, the stamina and the acceleration. As well as the tackling and the aggression. If you are worried about a defensive player not having high defensive awareness... I think defensive awareness, I'm going to be doing a video on this quite soon because a lot of people are asking me. Defensive awareness only really matters when you're not controlling the AI. If you're controlling the AI, the player is, you know, that's under your control is going to act the same as every other player. It doesn't matter if he's a center forward or a center back. It doesn't matter if he's a goalkeeper or a left midfielder. You're going to be controlling him so you can decide what positions you put him into. The, the AI is going to decide, you know, most of the time anyway, where the player is defensively assigned when he's got defensive awareness up and offensive awareness up. So that's just something to keep in mind, but I will do a video on that. And then we also have a Tiago here as well. Tiago, I mean, Tiago's card, lads, right in here, I think is one of the best kind of base cards because he does have standard form. I know that, but that's not really a problem if you're using him as a specialist player. What I mean by a specialist player is you are bringing him on off your bench for a very specific uh, play style or tactic if you are playing against a guy that is playing a lot of, um, you know, like one touch passing, very direct kind of meta style. If you want to slow things down with Thiago, he is kind of like the main man for that. Him, Modric, I would say, um, you know, maybe Kovacic as well, kind of players that are unbelievable ability on the ball. True pass and one touch pass. He's got every uh, dribbling stat that you could possibly want as well as dribbling player skill. And when we look at training him up here, we have a few ways of training him up. I've even given him four into defending and one into aerial strength, but you could take that away if you don't really want. The only reason I've done that is for his aggression, just to bring his aggression up slightly, but you don't need to do that. I mean, you can pump in more into passing. I don't think that there's a need for it. Um, I would probably pump in a few more into dexterity if I could just to bring that up and leave his overall 
at 94 overall um but again it's up to you guys what you want to do you're still going to get your aggression there uh with the 78 aggression and the 70 tackling which you know anybody that has played the game for long enough will understand that you don't always you know need the tackling to be that high for the players to put in a challenge but look at those stats man absolutely insane one of the best ball controls and passers in the game 93 balance and his speed and acceleration is quite decent as well for a center midfielder um i definitely think he's worth a punt if you do get him and then last on the liverpool list is nunez darwin has had a he's had a tough season lads in the premier league so far and Liverpool as well are having a tough season. Let me know what you guys think of the Premier League and how it's going this year. If there's any Liverpool fans there as well, let me know what the crack is. We might do a future video on a couple of squads uh, where we talk about the best player from each squad in eFootball. But let me know. Um, speed and acceleration is where you want to be pumping a lot of this. So 10 into dexterity. I think the best thing about Darwin, lads, is he is kind of like a favorite player from eFootball 23 or from eFootball 22. And he does have some really nice stats, uh, including unwavering form. And he also has some nice player skills as well. I think the best thing about him is his pure blistering pace and speed. Like if you're bringing him on the second half, you can just absolutely go to town. And 80 finishing with 82 offensive awareness is quite decent. But he's also really good in the air because he's tall. 79 header with 84 physical contact. And he has heading player skill as well, which is very, very, very good for a center forward. That has 90 speed and acceleration. So he kind of plays a little bit like Haaland and a little bit like Cristiano Ronaldo. He's not going to be like those smaller base players like Romario, you know, dipping in and being very versatile. So on to the Everton players. I'm going to go through these quite quickly because we've got Pickford, who's a goalkeeper. His reflexes go to 90. He does have only standard form. So that's going to be a slight issue for this card as well. Um, we also have Onana. This guy is a monster. He is obviously one of the best DMFs that you can get as a standard version of the card. You can see that he goes up to 57 levels there um, for under 10 G. But this guy is a is a monster man. You can train him up in, in a few different ways, right? We have kind of trained him up defensively to get that aggression up to 80 and the tackling up to 84 with the de defensive engagement up to 88, right? But we still have 81 speed, 82 stamina, and 82 physical contact, as well as, you know, mid to low, low to, to high 70s in all of these attacking stats. So if you are looking for a, a kind of a monster in midfield and you do pack him, I think you could do worse than getting him because he does have all the stats there as you see 91 overall is how we've trained him i do think that the best um the one thing about him is he doesn't have blocker as a dmf so that is a bit of a concern uh just a small concern we also have tarkowski and this guy is, is pretty decent as well um he's got blocker and interception which is always nice on your center back and this guy we've just pumped 14 into defending lads we're not worried about really acceleration or speed once you have your defensive awareness up over the 90s you don't really need speed i'm going to be doing a video on this because they've changed a lot of the stuff with the defense that i haven't seen many people talk about so you know if you have got this player um and you're just kind of looking for somebody that can get in there and do a bit of do a bit of damage defensively this guy has it all i mean he's very very versatile in the fact that he can you know have so many high defensive stats uh he's going to be a really really good player and then also we have gray so gray is a guy that goes to 90 overall as a left midfielder um he's a very decent player lads but i don't think he's going to be somebody that you really kind of like there's just just a dime a dozen now these guys that have like well he has super sub i will say that and he has track back um but you know these wingers that are really kind of fast with good ball control and dribbling there's so many of them there on the pitch the one thing i would worry about with gray is the fact that he does have fairly low type possession which when you are out in the wing if you play like i do and you do a lot of tricks and stuff it is going to be difficult to beat people uh you know like consistently so that is it lads for me just a quick video on the players today it is the merseyside derby let me know what you guys think are you going to spin or skip? I'll be back quite soon and I'll talk to you later.